Hello again, ladies and germs. My name is Dustin Cormier. Welcome to How to Rock a Campfire. Today I'm wearing my funky Jimi Hendrix-esque outfit, someone sort of, I guess. Um, I d I'm, I'm wearing this outfit. It's the same outfit I wore for a, my buddy's music video called uh, Van Well. Um, and if you want to check it out, I'm going to put it on my channel, but check out Windmill Blue Van Well on YouTube and you'll check it out. It's just me and my buddy making a music video and it turned out pretty cool and pretty special, artistic and fun. Um, anyway, I was trying to do creative artistic projects like that lately. So I'm going to show you guys how to play The Wind Cries Mary by Jimi Hendrix, uh, an Acoustify version, right? Uh, it's not perfect, but if you got somebody like my buddy Dave, uh, you're going to see me doing a cover with him at the end. He's got the most soulful, passionate voice, and emotional voice you've ever heard in your life, and I just love to hear the guy play, uh, and sing especially. And um, so... Uh, I'm just going to show you, you know, these basic chords, and then he's just going to riff on top with his own soulful thing. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, I guess we basically start off, uh, I, I like to do this on the bar chords, uh, the C part, so you can, it's easy to go down from the C, carry it down to the B flat to the F. And I like to do a three fingered F so that I can have my pinky give him space to do the third fret on the G string there, right? After all the jacks are in their boxes And the clowns have all gone to bed You can hear happiness staggering on down the street With footprints dressed in So I should say that, that that's how you really start the song as you go. Um, well, anyway, you guys can, I guess, finish that. And the wind whispers, Mary. Uh, and that's that whole intro part, basically. It starts off going, bam, bam, bam. And what I like to do is go on a D style chord. Um, you're basically, it's like an E flat, so you're lifting up, one up from the D, uh, but only play the first, or the last three strings, right? The G, the B, and the E, and you go E flat, E, F, right? And then you can do a D style chord with your first finger barring the first and second frets of the D and, e, the D and the A string. So it's like basically a D chord brought up one fret and then you slide it up chromatically up to that F chord. It takes quite a bit to do on an acoustic guitar. So that's why if, uh, if that's a bit too ridiculous, you can always just do an A style bar chord up here on the sixth fret and that makes the E flat as well. And the wind it cries, Mary. And at some point, I think you do it like twice. Uh, and I don't know if this is the solo or it might be. I think it's the next verse. So I'm gonna run with that. But anyway, after you know, this third verse is the traffic lights they turn on blue tomorrow. Shine that emptiness down on my bed. The tiny island sags, sags on downstream. Cause the life it lived is, is dead. Part, you basically stay in the F chord and you go F, E flat, 
flat, B flat, and then um, C sharp, F, B flat, B flat, and then C sharp. Weird chords, right? You do it three times. B flat, B flat, and then C sharp, and then G. And you go back into the sea again. Will the wind ever remember? And I think when I when I do the solo with Dave, I kind of screwed it up there. But I'm I, I know that this is the actual chords for the for the solo. If anybody wants to know it, I'm going back to that F, like I said, to the E flat, B flat, and then the C sharp, and then it does the whole thing G to the B flat to the C sharp. And then F again. That whole thing is the solo. I just don't do it with Dave. Uh, we screwed up, but whatever. It's part of rock and roll, right? At least you got it here if you want to see what that's all about. Will the wind ever remember the names it has blown in the past? And with this old crush, its age and its wisdom, it whispers, no, this will be the last. And the wind, it cries, Mary. And this is why you do it four times again, right? Right? So hopefully I didn't make that too jimble-jambled. And, um... Like I said, though, I think you guys will enjoy the version that I do with my buddy Dave here on this next shot. So um, enjoy that, and I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. I'm Dustin Corvey for How to Rock Campfire. See you on the next one.
crush its old age and its wisdom. Practical materialism and philosophy, too. Hope to see you there. Namaste.